Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 29th of April, Monday of the week of Easter 5, John Christentum, 344 407. Oh, and this is one of those that the best one can comment on by saying is, all right now. So, from the very first century, for on what account, tell me, do you thus weep for the departed? Because it was a bad man? You ought on that very account to be thankful, since the occasion of wickedness are now cut off. Because he was good and kind? If so, you ought to rejoice, since he has been soon removed before wickedness has corrupted him, and he's gone away to a world where he stands ever secure, and there is no reason ever to mistrust a change. Because he was a youth? For that reason, too, praise him that has taken him because he has speedily called him to a better lot. Because he was an aged man. On this account, also give thanks and glorify him that has taken him. Be ashamed of your behavior at a burial. The singing of psalms, the prayers, the assembling of the spiritual fathers and brethren, all this is not that you may weep and lament and afflict yourselves, but that you may render thanks to him who has taken the departed. For as when men are called to some high office, multitudes with praises on their lips assemble to escort them at their departure to their stations, so do all with abundant praise, join to send forward as to greater honor those of pious who have departed. Death is rest, a deliverance from the exhausting labors and cares of this world. When then thou seest a relative departing, yield not to despondency. Give thyself to reflection, examine thy conscience, cherish the thought that after a little while this end awaits thee also. Be more considerate. Let another's death excite, excite thee to salutary fear, shake off all indolence, examine your past deeds, quit your sins, and commence a happy change. And the prayer from the Book of Common Worship, 1946. Thanks be to thee, O God, that thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, conquered death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. We praise thee for his assurance of thy house of many mansions, where he has prepared a place for us, and that where he is there we may be also. Wherefore, we rejoice in this hour for those whom we have lost on earth, but who are now with thee. By thy grace, <clears throat> comfort our hearts with the thought of their safety and joy, and help us so to walk before thee in faith and love that in thy good time we may be joined to them in thy heavenly presence evermore. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.